Hey Guru Nation, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share. If you don't know what to comment, just put a robot emoji. It does help out with the algorithm a lot. Today we got asked, I think it's a very important question, especially an important question as we transition from 21 to 2022. It's going to be just as busy, if not more busy, next year in the industry. So somebody asked me on LinkedIn, hey, you know, I've been in academia for many years, so I'm guessing five to ten, but I don't have any clinical experience, so I'm guessing they were doing regulatory at a big academic medical center, or protocol writing, or regulatory assistant, or something, project management assistant, something similar to that, like no patient interaction, but still working in academia at the site level. They want to be a CRA. It's actually not that easy. When you work in academia, I've had many CRAs tell me when they get people from academia, it's very difficult to transition. Why? Because they employers know when you work in academia, you're stuck in a box. Like they streamline so much at those places and the culture is so much of just do your role and not anything else that when you come into private industry on the CRO side and you want to be a CRA, you got to sometimes wear many hats. You got to act more like an entrepreneur not like an employee that's just a task doer. You gotta solve problems as a CRA. Maybe the site screens somebody, officially screens someone like the issue yesterday without properly doing the informed consent and now the patients are out of order. Or maybe it's every day is different. In academia, every day is basically the same, especially if you don't have any patient interaction. So here's what you gotta do. If you haven't already, start networking with all those monitors the beauty about academic medical centers is you guys get a lot of studies. So chances are you're interacting with a lot of CRAs. Like myself, I'm a contract CRA and I work with an academic medical site. The site doesn't network with me, that's fine, but they have a lot of staff members there. You probably have dozens of studies. That means dozens of CRAs. That means dozens of people where their employer encourages them to find new talent. So if you have been not interacting well with your CRAs, I want you to get extra friendly with the monitors that come to your site. Get extra friendly with them, start networking with them. In addition, use LinkedIn, talk to recruiters, engage with people's posts in the news feed. Finally, adjust your CV, right? Meaning emphasize the transferable skills from what you've done to what CRAs do. For example, if you're in regulatory, you probably are in charge of filing. You're probably in charge of investigator site file. You're probably even to some extent in charge of tracking trainings. Emphasize those things because that's what CRAs do. So reverse engineer all the tasks of a CRA. When you look at the job description, job responsibilities for the positions you want, reverse engineer those responsibilities into the skills you've already developed. So that's two. Number one, network, get very friendly with the CRAs that you're already working with. If you haven't done so already, start doing it now. Number two, tweak your CV. Number three, put it out there and start applying. Don't assume that everybody's going to want you just because you have academic expertise. Nobody in private industry actually cares. Matter of fact, it might work against you. So you might have to work a little harder than others. Experience is still good. It's better than none but you're already stuck in a culture that is very different from private industry. So you've got that working against you. You just have to demonstrate that that's not who you are, that you understand what private industry is all about, that you're a problem solver, that you're a networker, that you're a go-getter. So go out there and make it happen. I think your CRAs, existing CRAs that you probably interact with on a regular basis, and quite honestly, you probably ignore them on a regular basis. I think you need to start doing the opposite ASAP. Good luck. Let me know how it goes. Take care.